Hey guys, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and in this video I'm showing you something that's really timely coming into Christmas or the end of the year when you might be shutting down and that's how you can set different availabilities for your services using bookings that don't necessarily match with your calendar, don't necessarily match with your general availability but allow you to kind of ease yourself back in, ease yourself out or make yourself available um, in a different way to accommodate changes to staffing or um, your working hours for a particular period of time. So check it out and um, let me know what you think. So when you're working with bookings and particularly at this time of year, I'm recording this in December. So we want to make sure that while our calendar will be updated with our availability and we'll have an out of office message on, you can take that to the next level and you can set some custom availability for the period you're going away and for easing back in after you have your Christmas break with your bookings calendar. So I'm going to do it today with this micro magic session that I offer. So we're going to edit the service. Now this is all done on the web inside the bookings program, which today I'm doing on uh, Google Chrome as my web browser. So once we're in here, we're going to look at the availability options. Now, these are my standard availability. It's generally, it's 8 till 6 and then 8 till 4 on a Friday, not bookable on a Saturday and a Sunday. Now, that will match with my existing Outlook calendar availability. And so meetings that I have inside those windows of time will then not mean that the appointment can't be booked. But then what I might do is I say, well, I'm closing down over Christmas and New Year, I'm taking a break, and then I don't actually want to do any in the first couple of days that I'm back because I need to catch up on emails and other bits and pieces. So while my calendar and Outlook would say that I am available from that period, I don't necessarily want this particular service to be available. So in that instance, we're going to go down the bottom here and I'm going to set a different availability for a date range. So... I'm going to set the date as being when I close, which is this day. And now I'm back in the office on Monday the 8th, but I'm actually going to say that I don't want to do any on the Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday because I know that I'm going to have a few other things to get sorted as well. And in that period, I'm going to say it's not bookable. Uh, and that's fine. I can also add another one. I could make it so that in the week up, so we're here, so from... Uh, next week to when I close, uh, I'm going to do some customized hours and I'm actually going to make it so that it is bookable on a Monday from 8 till 5, but not bookable on a Tuesday or a Thursday. So that's how we're going to do for the next couple of weeks. And then I can save my changes. And that means now that these partic this particular service has a slightly different set of rules applied to it that um, any of my other services would. So this overrides my standard settings and it makes these this service different to everything else. Hey, you, yeah, you, quick ad. This video is sponsored by my flagship course, Microsoft 101, 13 modules. 10 hours of bite-sized tutorials covering 13 apps and programs inside your Microsoft 365. Yep, the one you've already got. Would you like to know how to use it more? Head over to thriveadmin.com forward slash Microsoft 101. I'll pop the link at the end of this ad and you can get it for $100 off. Use the code YouTube to get $100 off and get instant and unlimited access to over 10 hours of my expertise on your schedule. Check it out. So there you have it. By setting your availability this way, it gives you control over if you do or don't want a particular service to happen when you are technically available for a fixed period of time. It's great if you're going on holidays or if you've got staff who are traveling and away. If you have want to have some time to focus in your schedule where people can't book or if you want to just sort of uh, slow down or ramp up your availability in a certain period to accommodate your client's needs. 
So check it out. Bookings is, remember Bookings is included in your Microsoft 365 business subscription. It is available on the web and you'll get it from your office.com dashboard. If you've got any questions about anything I've covered in the video, don't hesitate to get in touch. I would love to help you start using Bookings to ease your workload.